solids the constituent particles in the solids may be ions atoms molecules uh, that is in the case of uh, molecular solids molecules atoms in the case of metals and uh, ions in the case of uh, ionic solids they are arranged in a repeating patterns okay so first term a is crystalline lattice what is crystalline lattice it is the three dimensional arrangement of the constituent particles in a solids or crystals okay three dimensional arrangement of the constituent particles of a solid is called the uh, crystalline lattice these points are called lattice point okay the so three dimensional arrangement of lattice point in space is called the crystal lattice then what is the unit cell unit cells are the repeating pattern of a unit cell which repeat in all direction generate entire crystal ye kaise aapko pata easy tarike mein se how you can understand it for example maine aapko crystalline lattice ko ek kamre mein pura uh, it's a field of bricks are filled in a room such that there is no vacant space a similar type of bricks are filled in a room so the and the room are the crystal lattice and the smallest one brick is called so that bricks ka kya uh, means uh, important things about the bricks is they are completely filling the room okay so they are called what unit cell okay to ye simple tarike se to samajh mein aake liye maine bola hai okay to there are 1414 unit cells are there they are called the bravais lattice it is found by geometrical mathematician bravais that is why it is called the bravais lattice so here you can say that seven unit cells are there i will tell you how it is 14 later okay so cubic tetragonal orthorhombic monoclinic hexagonal rhombohedral and triclinic there are seven unit cell i will tell you how it is coming 14 okay so uh, 14 unit cells are there okay only 14 unit cells are possible repeating unit which can generate the entire crystals are 14 so broadly unit cells are classified into two primitive and a sender sender are again classified into three which are body sender face sender end sender body sender face sender and end sender so i will tell you what is the primitive unit cell remaining till i can explain you by word so let me take the your three dimensional entity unit cell as the cube so in the primitive unit cell all the corners of the unit cells are filled by a sphere i will tell you the term sphere they are atoms ions or molecules okay now i am using the term sphere means they are maybe atoms ions or molecules atoms in the case of uh, metal ions in the case of ionic solids or the molecules in the case of uh, the molecular solids so they are the spheres i will tell you the term sphere means they are atoms ions or molecules okay so the spheres are arranged in the each corners so they are only the corners are filled they are called a primitive unit cell so you 
can say that. One more thing about the primitive cell, unit cell. So the con, the this type of unit cell are repeating all dimension, all the direction that can en generate in there the crystal lattice. Okay. So how many? What is the contribution of each corner sphere in a unit cell? It is one by eight. How it is coming? You divide a sphere into four unit. That is one by four. You make half, then half. Then you cut in the vertical. That one portion is 1 by 8. In that way, this is the 1 by 8. This is 1 by 8, this is 1 by 8, this is 1 by 8, 1 by 8, 1 by 8. So, 8 corners will be there. So, the total. In a primitive unit cell, 1 spheres are there in a unit cell. Of course, you again. A sphere, you divide into 4 and then cut vertically then one portion is a 1 by 8 the portion so each corners will have 1 by 8 portion so in a primitive unit cell number of sphere in a unit cell is the 1 8 into 1 by 8 that is 8 into 1 by 8. total sphere in a unit cell is 1 okay in the body centered there are the spheres on each corners of the unit cell, one at this inside the center of the unit cell, center of the unit cell. So total number of spheres in a body center is 2. So a unit cell is body centered means number of sphere in a unit cell it is 2. Face centered, there are the spheres at each corners of the unit cell. And there are the sphere at each face of the unit cell. You know that a, a face of a repetitive cube will shared by two units. This face is shared by you two units. Each face is shared by two units. So in a unit cell, how many? What is the contribution of a sphere which is face centered? It is one by two. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Faces will be there in a cube. So, total contribution from the 500 is 6 into 1 by 2. That is, 6 into 1 by 2 means 3. 3 plus 1 from the, the corner contribution. That is, 3 plus 1, that is 4. Now, what is the end centered unit cell? It is the, the, there are the sphere at each corners of the unit cell. And only the one sphere in one opposite face of the unit cell. All faces are regular. Not all faces are not filled with the sphere. Only the oppositing face. So the oppositing face contribute 2 into 1 by 2. That is 2 into 1 by 2, 1 plus 8 into 1 by 8. That is 1. That is total number of the sphere in the unit cell is 2. Remember about these things first. You got it? Let me repeat again. Primitive unit cells, spheres are at each corners of the unit cell. So total number of the spheres will be 1 in a unit cell. Body center, there are the spheres at each corners of the unit cell. Remember one thing, in all the unit cell, there are the spheres at each corners of the unit cell. Okay, there are the unit spheres at each corners of the unit cell and one completely inside the center of the unit cell. Or body center of the unit cell. That's why it is called a body centered unit cell. And uh, face centered, there are the sphere at each corners of the unit cell and one at the, there are the spheres at each face center of the unit cell. Total contribution of a sphere in a unit cell, that is in a face centered unit cell, there will be four sphere in a unit cell. And in the end centered, there are the sphere at each corners of the unit cell and one opposite face that is 2 you got it you just remember these things first so broad classification of unit cell is primitive and centered now I told you these are different the seven unit cells cubic tetragonal orthorhombic monoclinic hexagonal rhombohedral and triclinic Okay. 
now a three dimensional entity can be explained with the help of six parameters six parameters which are three axis and three interfacial angle okay three axis and three interfacial angle so the axis and the interfacial and this leave it there i will tell you why okay the axis for the cubic cubic it is a is equal to b is equal to c and uh, the uh, the interfacial angle three interfacial angle alpha beta and gamma okay alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degree and the tetragonal a is equal to b not equal to c alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 orthorhombic a not equal to b not equal to c alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 monoclinic a not equal to b not equal to c alpha is equal to beta is equal to 90 gamma not equal to 90 hexagonal a is equal to b not is equal to c alpha is equal to beta is equal to 90 and gamma is equal to 120 rhombohedral a is equal to b is equal to c alpha beta gamma not equal to 90 trinic clinic a not equal to b not equal to c alpha not equal to beta not equal to gamma not equal to 90 so why i have ordered this you just you can see t o m h if you remember this order CTO MHRT you can remember all 14 unit sets how let me tell you the arrangement this can be primitive body centered and face centered this can be primitive and body centered this can be primitive body centered face centered and center this can be uh, easy okay all other can be possible by primitive only that is cubic can be primitive cubic body centered cubic and face centered cubic and tetragonal primitive tetragonal body centered tetragonal orthorhombic primitive orthorhombic body centered orthorhombic face centered orthorhombic and uh, end centered orthorhombic monoclinic primitive and primitive monoclinic monoclinic and end centered monoclinic others are only possible that is all the sevens are possible with the primitive so how it become 14 remember <laughs> this is seven and you remember one two three four five six seven that is total number of uh, the unit cell which are 14 these are called the bravais lattice shortcut so if you remember this order this order you can remember all the 14 you see here first one this is everything equal here one not equal here two not equal here three not equal here this is a, a special hexagon you remember Alpha beta not equal to gamma and alpha beta is 90 and uh, uh, gamma is equal to 120. Rhombohedral is also alpha A, B, C here equal and alpha beta gamma not equal to 90 but their interfacial angles are equal. In triclinic everything is unequal. Okay. Is it correct? Any doubt?